welcome back to my Let's Play of Chips Challenge 2015 on the Steam Engine, everybody. I'm KYN, and I'll be the host of this Let's Play. So, last time we completed 10 more levels of the game, and uh, yeah, they went by a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, there was just only one level that I spent uh, more time than I needed to, but well, uh, you know, uh, we are definitely at the point where um, the levels are getting pretty long and difficult. And uh, this is definitely one where, or there are ones where, um, a map slash walkthrough would be very very handy to like reduce the amount of time we spent uh, playing the low anyway. So um, and especially since my, the purpose of this is to get through uh, Chips Challenge One as quickly as possible, since um, um, it's important that we get through Chips Challenge Two. Since um, I already have a Let's Play of Chips Challenge One up, yeah, before the Microsoft port, yeah, from last year. And so yeah, um, what whatever lows I think will help me get through quicker with the map slash walkthrough. Yeah, I would definitely use them. Um, it's not like I would like to like puzzle my way through them again. Yeah, and spend so much time on camera. Yeah, when I've already did that before. So, um, yeah, no need to do it again. Yeah, in my opinion. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the game here. Uh, this time, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna do, do we're just gonna do 10 levels this time, since, um, this batch of levels is pretty long, especially near the very, very end. So, yeah. Um, so, but we'll do the best we can to try and finish in a reasonable amount of time, though. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started now. And as usual, yeah, I already read this the last time, so we're just going to dive into low 81, Rider's Block. Yeah, this is, this itself is pretty long. Um, essentially, there's a lot of chips on in the uh, outer ring of the low, and yeah, you pretty much have to use, like, practically every block that you can use here, and like, well, not like trapping. Uh, that many. Yeah, because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I don't think you really have any blocks to spare here. Yeah, I could be very wrong though. So yeah, this is already one of the very long levels. Um, let's see. Um best way to go about this here. Um, I think this might be okay. Yeah, so pretty much all these chips would just require one block, except for the ones in the corners. Yeah, they require two, I believe. Uh, yes. Corners will require two blocks. Uh, I didn't watch this up yet, did I? No, I did not. So, technically, it requires three blocks. Blocks here are supposed to spell the word think. Yeah, and that's certainly what you would need to do on this level anyway. Okay, um. This will be okay. Yeah, the ones that are arranged in a 2x2, two two, yeah. None of those blocks are usable. I um, didn't botch this low yet.
yeah. There's definitely a lot of back and forth here. Excuse me. Yeah, this is pretty long and tedious and very, very repetitive. They apparently weren't kind enough to, like, um, reduce the number of chips you need to collect here. Okay, I wonder if we could just, like, uh, try... Um, Doing the left side where all the blocks are. Um, use 
this block. Alrighty, and then let's see. Um. That one will have to go. Yeah, I really, really hope I did not like mess this up or anything. Yeah, the blocks are kind of in disarray here. Just because of the way I did it, but, um... Yeah, again, I'm hoping I did not, like, mess up anything here that would require a restart. Because I don't have enough available blocks to finish the low. Come to think of it, I don't even remember if I had to, like, do a restart when I did the Microsoft port. On camera, that is. Yeah, this is very exhausting. And then again, we do have like a three block to start as well. Might have been two of them actually, but we already used one. Yeah, ten to go. Just way too much back and forth needed here. So it gets very, like, uh, monotonous and boring very quickly. Yeah, and, and unfortunately for the player, um, there's still plenty more of these levels. Yeah, that would take a long time to complete. I have enough uh, blocks for the remaining six chips. One, two, three, four, five. I really, really hope I did not mess this up at all. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, so we need three blocks, and I think I saw that we are one block short. Ah, uh, curses, I am a block short. Gosh darn it. Well, here we go again. Ay, ay, ay. That was just as I feared. Exactly as I feared. Yeah, we have to do the entire low all over again. Here we go again with all the block pushing and everything. Not what I wanted to do. At all. I managed to botch that up. Yeah, they really don't like allow you any leeway whatsoever here. Yeah, it's like I said, yeah, this is a this is gonna be a very long batch of those. Especially near the very end. Heck, uh the batch even starts with a very long level. Not a very difficult one, but um you still have to it's still pretty challenging, and um, you just have to like figure out uh, how to make the most of the blocks here.
Yeah, luck luckily there's no tandem in it still. Yeah, it's a very long level. And just way too repetitive. that we got it this time. Yeah, it's like really, we already spent like 22 minutes on this level. We're going to be us. Still gonna take another 5-6 minutes or so. that I did not mess this up again, especially since I've already spent a while on this low.
Butcher uh, uh, temp here. Yes, perfect. You had three spare blocks for the remaining three. So you really cannot afford any slip-ups here, because you do not have any spare blocks. I mean, there are, it's just that um, they are unusable because they're already in a 2x2. Two two. But yeah, this first level to start, uh, it's terrible because of how very long and repetitive it is. And OBS is reporting 30 minutes yeah, total so far for recording. Alright, anyway, level 82, Socialist Action. Some of the fun one probably. Just trying to. That was, that was dumb of me. now. 
Oh, and there was an ant there as well. There are invisible walls here, that's why. That's why you see the ants moving in a certain way. Alright, and then I suppose we're gonna wait for the ant to like come and drown itself. Uh, I think that's the only one, too. Yeah. Uh, up the block, low 83. I think I remember this one being a fun one. Um... Alright. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we'll just need to help with the forest forest to put the box where we need them to. Oh, and I am trapped. No, it should have been the other way. Yeah, we still have a while in this batch. Okay, I believe we're supposed to use them to uh, direct the gliders to. Um, ah! Basically, I redirect them towards the bombs. Uh, no, I'm going the wrong way. side or something. It's another somewhat long one.
starting to like lose myself already. And it's still like really early in this batch. Yeah, we need to or rather I need to keep it together. I think we're actually done using that block. Yeah, so just remember you can use a block or a monster to destroy the bomb for you. This is just a matter of redirecting. Uh, like the fireballs or something. Maybe? Yeah, 
unless there's a way to get inside the ring where all the ants are. No, maybe not. Sure, I can squeeze past them. Ah.
probably just submit the way I'm doing this as well. I'm yeah, just doing all of this by dodging. That we might even need to like to go approach here. Darn it.
wait there for a bit before moving. Got this. Just watch out for those fireballs. Just um, overcomplicating things here. It makes it pretty difficult to tell where I'm supposed to move in that area since it gets like all cluttered up and so it makes it difficult to know how to react. It's like the psychological factor there I guess. Like maybe a scare tactic or whatever. that stupid ant that had to like mess up everything and just when I finally escaped that area too
And there had to be someone that went backwards. Yeah, not this time, you. Ah, finally, though. And now we are finally uh, at the halfway point here. And yes, I have directions here for this level. Yeah, to indicate like the safe spots when you take the teleporters. Um, let's see, it should be over here, right? So, let's see, we have right, up, and up again, uh, right, and up, and then right, left, uh, and then up. Right. Uh, left. Up. Right. And down. Then up. And I find it left. Oh, was close. Okay, and then we have to repeat it again. Right. Up. Up. Right. Up. Right. Left. Up. Right. Left. And then up. Right. Down. Up. Uh, where is the exit? Oh, there we are. Okay, so we've already gone over an hour. Uh, suicide. Yeah, this is the one where you need to direct monsters towards the bombs because the bombs are blocking the exit. Um, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them. Ah, that was dumb of me.
Let's see where are the bombs? Bombs are right there, okay. Time now. City block, yeah, low 80 shot. This is a very long one. So, this is very likely a narrow one. We're gonna be here for a long time. Just depending if I don't mess anything up. Um, let me switch it off here. Uh, let's see, what's the best way to do this part? There's like plenty to spare here actually. Okay, um let's see how to do this part.
yeah. So this is probably one of the one of the heaviest uh, block pushing levels in the game. And there's another one quite close near the end as well. There's plenty of blocks to spare here. Uh, yeah, that row. Yeah, the next level after this one isn't like uh, a lot easier either. I mean, it is definitely easier than this level, but um, it's quite challenging, yeah. And it, it all depends on what version you have as well. Okay, and then those two blocks trapped. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there should be plenty of extras.
Okay, so when we get down here, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is supposed to maybe go down here as well. Um, quite possibly, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ooh, I don't know. This might cut it close, though. Actually, it might have been better to go the other way. the bottom there. Something tells me that we probably will run out though. Or rather that we don't have enough. So, I think we actually have enough. Just barely, though, probably.
Okay. Um, that would be the only way here, it appears. Okay, um... Let's see... Where am I supposed to... Um... Uh, which way are we supposed to go here? Uh, hang on a sec. Okay, so it seems that we want to do this right here. I was like, there's definitely no way I want to restart this entire level, especially since it's already very long anyway. So yeah, I was like, I better check a map. Um, so yes, um, there you have it. That's This is the Nightmare Dust City Block. Yeah, one of the longest and most difficult levels of the game. Um, like, uh, in the, somewhat in the early part of the second half. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Spirals, yes, level 88. Yeah, there's two versions of this one, the corrupted version and the official fixed version. Yeah, this one, I believe, would be the fixed version. I don't think we have the correct one for the Steam version. Yeah, I can't quite remember, though. By the way, essentially, this is a maze in which it will quickly be covered up with uh, walkers as they're constantly being cloned here. Yeah, because of the push of the red button. So really, uh, you just need to, like, collect the chips as quickly as you can. Yeah, before you get overwhelmed. Uh oh. Yeah, I think I went the wrong way. It's just really trying to, like, survive. <laughs> this level, you know. This appears to be the corrupted version. Yeah, because there's a thin wall. So, this appears to be the infinitely many times harder version of the low. Yeah, I really feel as if I'm retracing my steps here. Yeah, it seems that I am. Okay, I think this warrants a restart since, um, I think I'll get into trouble in short order here.
keep um, retracing my steps here. Hmm. Could just wind up. This one isn't too bad at all. So this is probably another one where I should have. For now, I'll walk through. Um. I think I tried. Uh, this route yet. Oh! Yeah, I'm going to make sure we don't run into a dead end. Unless you can squeeze through like that. Okay, um, this brought us back, so... So maybe I have been going the right way this entire time. To the other side of the lower, like this. of my way. Where's the way out here? Yeah, I think this is the new path we haven't taken yet. I've probably done too much retracing though, so... And this is where it's blocked, isn't it? Yeah. Who's that remaining chip though? Missed one somewhere. So, and unfortunately, I think we're gonna be to death pretty soon here. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna get fortunate here, or will we not? Here it doesn't seem to clone. They don't seem to clone as fast. Okay, now I'm spending way too much time looking around. So yeah, I think we're essentially dead. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's something like this. It's just a matter of finding a way back yeah, to the exit. other ones over here, did we? Yeah, and then I believe the other one is just over here on the right side of the bow. No, it just needs to do that on. Spending way too much time looking for our final chip. And I'm possibly even retracing a lot of my steps here. Where's that remaining chip anyway? Okay, so apparently the in the corrupted version is well uh, actually I think this is technically the official version in the Lynx version, so um so it's not considered a corrupted version in that platform, but it is considered a corrupted version in the Microsoft port. The reason being is because cloners or rather walkers clone much faster yeah, on that port. Yeah, due to the way um the behavior walkers work there. Because essentially what happens is that walkers, they choose any uh, direction that's open rather than any random direction. Yeah, like they do in Link slash Steam. Um, yeah, they, they will even pick the direction that's blocked as well. Yeah, when um, choosing a random direction. And so as a result, they can sometimes stall yeah, for a while in one, one spot. But in Microsoft, that does not happen. So therefore, the walkers spread much faster. Yeah. On this level, yeah, and you get the corrupted version where there's a thin wall right, right here blocking your way of getting to the exit from this side. Then, yeah, uh, the level becomes infinitely many times harder. And so, yeah, to compensate for the added difficulty, yeah, in the Microsoft uh, port, yeah, they removed this thin wall here so that you're able to go through to the left here. Um, yeah, because it's practically almost impossible to complete the level if there's a thin wall right here, yeah, like, like you see here. So yeah, that's pretty much the history behind the um, Spiros uh, level and the so-called correct version that gets uh, shipped with some um, copies of the game. Um, and it even differs between yeah, um, versions of the Microsoft um, Entertainment or the Windows Entertainment Pack too. So yeah, um, some people got their hands on the correct version, others just simply got the um, uh, fixed version yeah, for the Microsoft port. So anyway, um, that's a bit of a history, and you're not aware of it, but um, there's definitely more information on it on the wiki and everything for uh, Chip's Challenge. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on now.
So we move on to Blockbuster for low 89. Yeah, there's, there's also a lot of block pushing here as well. Um, yeah, and unlike the Microsoft report, yeah, this one is a lot easier to dodge. Yeah, because the um, the blocks move at a constant speed on the ice. Yeah, not like in Microsoft where um, the movements are extremely erratic. section there, unless there's something else over here too. Oh no, that was just the uh, uh, clone machine. Alright, it's some dodging here, but um, yeah, as you can see, yeah, blocks move at a constant speed in Link slash Steam, so therefore it makes it much easier to dodge them. Not like in Microsoft, where um, the um, blocks occasionally like jump around very erratically and everything, so it makes it much harder to dodge them. Uh, but here, yeah, much easier, yeah. It, and so as a result, this is far less frustrating in Link slash Steam. Yeah, and here the um, uh, the strip is uh, not as wide, but again, because the blocks move at constant speed. Uh, it is much easier to dodge them. Moreover, you can even stop the bottom block if you wanted to. Bummer. Oh, can you not? Hmm, I thought you could like push up against them to stop them from moving. Hmm, maybe not. But yeah, it's like I said though. Yeah, in general, uh, dodging the blocks on ice is much easier. Yeah, on things slash steam. Yeah, because of the fact that they move at constant speed. Yeah, rather than moving erratically, like they do on Microsoft. So as a result, yeah, uh, you would likely not need to restart as much as you do um, as you might have to do on the Microsoft um, version. Even more so if you're not after a speed run. Yeah, then it's still a lot easier on this port. Yeah, and we're closing in on in on an hour and forty minutes of recording time, that is. Let's try this again then. Again, it, uh, these ice strips are not as wide, but uh, it's still a lot. It's still easier to dodge them in general. Yeah, at least on this port. It has to be possible to push them because, yeah, you need to bridge the water anyway. Yeah, like that.
Yeah, so technically it just simply means that I moved at the wrong time, so that therefore I got squashed by the block. Yeah, in my other attempt. Yeah, or maybe it's just simply where I pushed the block. Yeah, maybe it's not possible to push it up against a wall or something. Alright, let's finish up. Level 90, Playhouse. Uh, let's see. So, I think we want to... Make sure we use the Oh, that was fire, okay. Well, no. We'll just use some block stopping here. I don't think any of these are open, though. Yeah, and even if they were, we wouldn't be able to uh, slide on the ice for long here. Actually. Okay, there's not enough room there, I don't think. Yeah, and we wouldn't be able to squeeze in between those pink balls. Then I'm assuming this is the exact same thing. Okay, uh, we would need the yellow key, so I think we have already botched this up. Come on now. Thank you. Oh shoot, I um, was supposed to do the other water section first. Yeah, these later levels definitely require keeping a cool head while playing and completing them. Because you really can't avoid any screw-ups. That's how very unforgiving the game is, especially in the later parts of the low uh, of the game. I'm 
presuming that we'll be able to access that part uh, um, level later or something. Okay, um, blue lock is right there. Okay, so that's a trap to get those ice skates. Yeah, same thing with that ship right there. Um, yeah, then I think we just go back the way we came from. Seems to be our only option. Um, yeah, maybe the way is to go over here. Yeah, where there's a safe way to get past these pink calls. G-O Yeah, so good job And make sure that it's in your fire sections Now this is water, so the fire is over here I can do it. I know I can. Chip thinks as the going gets tougher. Besides, Melinda the Mental Marvel waits at the end. Alright, so we finally made it through 10 more lows and um, yeah. <laughs> Some of these, I'm pretty sure I made them far harder than they need to, to be, but well. Um, I honestly don't know any other way to like complete that one stage that I've um, spent a while on because I kept on dying and everything. And then, yeah, for City Block, I was like, yeah, uh, after I finished those um, sections and everything. I gotta take a look at the map just so um, <laughs> I don't botch it up and therefore I have to make a complete restart, which already takes a very long time anyway. Get to do do those first two sections, so yeah, I was like, nope, not gonna spend a lot of time on here like I did in the Microsoft port. Um, and then um, yeah, there were still a, a, some other difficult ones as well, but um, yeah, uh, as you can see, the the levels are getting far harder and longer too. So, um, uh, but in any case, we finally made it through. And yeah, we are close to an hour and 50 minutes here of recording time. And so, yeah, obviously we're gonna make a stop here. Yeah. And so we'll go ahead and continue with 10 more of those next time. And um, if we do that, then uh, we're pretty much on pace to uh, reach the one of love and everything, which will be in the next video. So, anyway, um, we'll make a stop here. So, continue. So, uh, tune in next time for when I let's play more Chips Challenge. So, with this, I hope you enjoyed this video, despite it being very long. I apologize for that. And I'll see you all next time.